Welcome to Cloud Data Prep, a user-friendly approach to exploring and preparing data. This is a tutorial of Cloud Data Prep basics. Related videos, along with product documentation, are available through these links. From this workspace, you can organize anything you create in Data Prep. For this tutorial, we've created an example based on donations for the 2016 USA presidential campaign. We'll walk you through an end-to-end -end journey where you transform the data and generate a result. Flows are used to group relevant data and assemble them through transformation logic to generate a result. Inside this example, we've included public data from the FEC with example transformations to produce a simple analysis on campaign contributions. Now we'll open the flow Getting Started 101. Within a flow, you can visualize how all of your data is prepared and linked together. This view shows how campaign contribution data is combined with the candidate master list to generate a single result, total contribution by presidential candidate. All flows start on the left with one or more data sets. These two are imported data sets, which reference raw data from files stored on cloud storage. Data sets can also be imported from BigQuery tables. Now we'll transform the data using a recipe. A recipe contains a sequence of steps to structure, clean, transform, and combine your data or data sets into a new data set. These steps use the Wrangle language to define the specific behavior. We can view all the Wrangle steps defined by clicking on the recipe. In the panel on the right, you can preview all of the recipe's Wrangle steps, each representing a transformation. In this case, the two datasets are joined together and then aggregated. The new columns are then renamed. To explore and interact with this data and modify the recipe steps, click Edit Recipe. The transformer provides visual information about the data and generates suggested transformations with each user interaction. The transformer grid shows you the current state of the data in rows and columns. Along the top of each column, there is an automatically detected data type and a data quality bar which indicates data type mismatches in the column. The top right of each column is a menu for common tasks based on column data type. An easy way to start transforming your data is from these column menu options, which include Clean, Aggregate, and Restructure. For this tutorial, let's start with a simple transformation on the column Candidate Name by fixing its format. Under Format, let's choose To Proper Case. In the grid, you can preview how the selected transformation will change your data, in yellow, and compare it to the source, in blue, before adding the corresponding Wrangle step to your recipe. On the right, you can view the Wrangle step details that apply a set transformation on the column. By clicking on Add, this step will be added to the recipe. You added a new step to the end of the recipe, which set the column candidate name to proper case. The grid displays the latest version of the data with all steps applied. At any time, you can undo or redo these steps. Your recipe steps are automatically saved after each addition or removal. You can add more transformations by clicking on the plus symbol here, which launches the Transform Builder. The Transform Builder helps you craft any transformations by allowing you to find the transform and providing in-context support for each parameter. Learn about the full range of transformations through the Wrangle language documentation here. You can try out more transformations on this dataset after this tutorial. In addition to crafting transformations, Data Prep will suggest transformations when you directly select data in the grid through predictive transformation. For example, you can select characters and numbers in the data, which results in suggested transformations in the right-hand panel. You can browse through different options grouped by transformation name and see a quick preview before selecting it. Selecting one of these suggested transforms will automatically fill in the Transform Builder so you can review and modify the step before adding it to the recipe. You can also trigger predictive transformations by selecting columns, the data quality bar, or clicking and dragging on the histograms. More details about predictive transformations are covered in a separate tutorial. So far, all of the Wrangle steps only applied transformations to the data displayed in the browser. The source data is never modified and no new data generated. 
The next step is to generate a result by running all the recipe steps using Cloud Data Flow and publishing new data output. We can start this by clicking on Run Job. By default, Data Prep will publish the result of your job to a new, comma-separated file in the following location. To add new output locations, you can use the Add Publishing Action link on the right and choose to publish into different file formats or a BigQuery table. Let's continue with the default settings. A Data Prep job uses Cloud Data Flow to transform your data. The job will be billed based on resources used. Clicking Run Job here will start your job. Congratulations! Your first data prep job is in progress. View the status of the current job on this card. Once complete, the results can be found here. View more details through the job card menu, including execution details about the data flow job. After your job completes, you can click View Results to see a detailed profile of the new result. Access the location of your published output in the Export Results dialog. You're all done! To start wrangling your own data, click the data flow icon in the upper left corner.